What would your advice be on how to keep your freedom from the matrix without losing your freedom by being defiant in the matrix? Okay. <laughs> Seems like a fun one. I asked for a mountain to climb and I think I got one. Well, all right, let's put it this way. The matrix, whatever you want to call the matrix, in reality is probably, the, as Tupac would say, <laughs> the biggest gang out there. And whether you want to look at that as the United States government, I'm going to <laughs> about saying things like that, or the Russian government, or the Australian government, or the Mexican government, let's just throw some more names in there to make it more diplomatic. Um, they're a gang. They're a really strong, whatever you want to look at, the gang, the mafia, you want to get it, a group of people. They're a group of people that have made the rules for how people are allowed to live. And I know that um, a lot of us like the idea that we're free, and I do think we're free. I think we're free to make a choice to live in the United States of America. And I've, I've used my freedom to make that choice to be the citizen. A citizen. I'm a citizen of the United States of America, allegedly. I think I'm much more than that. I consider if I'm infinite. But um, one of the things that you can describe me as is that. So that means I, uh, to, to, I decided to declare myself on a team. And uh, on that team, they have rules, they have boundaries, and I, as long as I, um, lit, if I really want to partner with this team to my highest degree, I think it's important for me to respect the boundaries of the team that I've chosen to be on to the degree that I feel really good with, and my, what I would imagine to be my heart space or my soul level. Um, there are some rules that I honestly would not suggest. I, I'm not suggesting everyone follow all the rules. Um, if we did, we would still maybe have uh, slavery around. We would have all, I mean, you know, in a crazy way, the Nazis were following the rules. These are just some examples. So, um, I just want that whether it's people from slavery times or people from the Holocaust, they had they had freedom to choose to be on that team, and there's also the freedom to choose to die fighting, fighting being attached to that team. Some people uh, are born on this team and then they wake up to the idea of the team that they're on that they didn't really believe they signed up for, and. Um, they can lose their, they can lose this human suit doing it sometimes. And so, and I'm crazy enough, there's also people that <laughs> were born onto this team and decided they were so passionate about being on this team that they decided they were going to go take other people's lives in the name of it. So, yeah, my, um, the Matrix, what is the Matrix? Maybe the, the part of the Matrix seems to be that anything to distract or distract us from thinking that distracting us from realizing what's really going on the empathetic experience of channeling the highest through our heart mind body soul in a whole way and to realize that we're all on the same team anything to distract us from that and to realize the power that the individual has and especially the power of an individual that partners with under, other individuals that understand the power they have. Um, it just seems like it's easier to control the masses, and mass amounts of people like that, and I think these are where terminology such as sheeple comes. So, um, I, long, I mean, that's just like me analyzing that question. I don't know if I've even gotten to answering it. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, and I think that what it comes down to is the choice. The choice is yours. Do you think that the... Uh, do you believe that having any kind, like having any kind of boundaries or restrictions on the team that you're on, is worth like fighting to your death? Do you want to be incarcerated, uh, making that known to other people? Do you, 
Or do you just want to leave this country and do you just want to really wake up to maybe your true power and to realize that it's even beyond this human suit? And I think that's like what a lot of uh, spiritual teachers who were, and maybe some people want to describe them as spiritual teachers, a lot of presidents were spiritual teachers, but were assassinated or crucified um, or killed uh, because I believe they started to walk by it so much faith that it actually, they no longer allowed themselves to be restricted by any confines of a matrix that's going to describe, distract them from what they truly are. However, I do believe that certain people take different amounts of time to wake up to that. And um, if it takes 33 years, if it takes 27 years, 27, man, how many people passed away at 27? <laughs> There's some beautiful red birds out here, and I think Deanne is looking at them. <laughs> That's a hummingbird. <laughs> hummingbird. Um, or if it can, it can take till you're 99. Like, it's up to you uh, if you live that long. It's up to you. And I think that you, there's a part of you that knows that beyond your, your mental understanding. And that's why I believe that faith, my faith comes from the idea that every choice I make is the right one. And to the degree that I dis to allow myself to use the matrix to my advantage rather than being used by it. I see the matrix as a, a toy, a game that I can play with. It's like a playing card game. I'm not attached to I'm not attached to exposing all the ways I disagree with this card game that I play with. I choose to have more fun by playing my cards the best I can. Because these are the card this is the card game I chose to play. And I continuously choose to play it for now. And um, I think when you can find that balancing piece, um, that's only a question that you'll only, you'll only know that when you do. And I think you know that when you can really, if you can look at all facets of the current matrix that you're living in and you have the utmost appreciation and gratitude for them, man, I believe you're in the right place. Like we're doing pretty freaking good. I mean, most people, uh, when they wake up to their own personal power, they are able to navigate this earth in a fairly free way where food is just like, man's biggest problem used to be like finding food. Now it seems like man's biggest challenge is not eating too much of it for the people that are living in the first world and my, for the reality I continuously hang out in. It's just like I live in this world where I have endless choices of food, careers, people to meet, ways to consume information for free and that's why I love the internet. I love the internet is it's showing that actually any matrix that anyone's choosing to live in is potentially self-inflicted because now information has been is more available than it ever has been in the past. And once you can't hide information anymore, then I believe the truth becomes more very more clear that any kind of resistance to a matrix that you're living within is from your own self, and then when you can find out that that's where it's coming from, and you can let that go, then you can choose which matrices to participate in. So um, that was a, I felt like a big question, and I imagine that was a big answer. If you followed me, if that resonated with you, I would love to hear on um, on a comment below. And if you have another question to talk about, because there's a part of me that fears that maybe these questions are a bit almost too deep for. A population of people that would be interested and maybe I, a part of me is seeking significance of quantity of viewers rather than quality of viewers or maybe I believe that there doesn't have to be one or the other whatever that reason is if you enjoy this kind of um, topic let me know because then I can consider diving deeper with you next time let's go let's go into the balloon